During the first half of the 20th century, one of the most feared diseases in the United States was polio, which afflicted tens of thousands of people every year. It even famously crippled a U.S. president. And the scary thing about polio was that it disproportionately targeted children and youth. Children and youth were by far the most affected. So think about this. Every summer, every summer, thousands of American children were killed because of polio. And polio led to fatalities. Thousands and tens of thousands of other American children and youth were paralyzed or otherwise crippled by polio. So very, very feared disease. And everyone knew someone, or usually many people, who had been directly impacted by polio. And everyone felt this thing. My own grandmother, she got polio. Her son, my uncle, he got polio. Everyone knew someone. In the 1930s, a major attempt was made to find a polio vaccine. And human testing began. Of course, that human testing was on children. Unfortunately, some of those children were paralyzed. These are vaccinated children. They were paralyzed by the vaccine. Other children died because of the vaccine. And this spooked the researchers, so the whole thing was called off. Now, fast forward to the late 40s, and a fresh attempt is being made to find a vaccine. And thank goodness, because by the late 40s, early 50s, the average number of those being afflicted by polio in the United States had risen dramatically. And we're talking here about an outbreak. You know, whereas before it might be 10, 15, 20,000 a year, now it's 35,000 a year. 35,000 people being crippled or paralyzed or dying from polio every year. And by 1952, that number was 60,000, 60,000. And you have parents afraid to send their kids outside to play lest they get the disease. You have whole sections of the country being quarantined, entire towns being quarantined. And of course, the vast majority, as always, of those afflicted are under the age of 20. Scary, scary times. Luckily, by 1955, a vaccine had been developed and mass immunization campaigns were underway. Of course, those mass immunization campaigns were directed at children. By 1957, the number of polio cases in the United States had plummeted to just 6,000. And four years later, in 1961, just 161 cases, 161, from 60,000 in 1952. By the mid-90s, polio had been completely eradicated from the Americas.